Hello, it's Peter Rossthorn, and I'm back to discussing onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. In this screencast, I am going to be looking at how to create your first issuer website. Um, the idea is this is going to be focused on issuing a badge manually. I'm not going to get into how to integrate with existing learning management systems or application frameworks like Drupal, WordPress, Django, or others. Uh, we're just going to keep it simple and focus on the basic requirements of being able to set up uh, a website so that you can issue badges. So really the, the, the first set of requirements for issuing badges um, includes uh, a stable URL or a uh, consistent domain name for some of the important attributes of the JSON within issuing a badge. There's also going to be the requirement to be able to support uh, the JSON content type within your web server. Um, and we're also going to need to have some fairly simple programming uh, with Python or PHP to be able to uh, hash or encrypt the earner's email with uh, the salt value. As you can see here, that is an attribute of the JSON file here. Uh, this is the, the, the hashed value of the email address and the salt value. So, um, to get started here with the idea of the stability of the URL or domain name, this becomes particularly important as you're going to need to um, have the origin criteria and evidence remain the same within the JSON file. So these don't necessarily have to be from the same domain, uh, but they do need to remain the same after the badge is issued. If these domain names change uh, after the badge is issued, the badge will no longer be able to be validated. Uh, so one of the things that's quite important uh, when you're issu starting to set up a, a badge issuer is that you have a stable URL um, that will remain consistent through time. Um, this is mostly to support the origin criteria and evidence attributes of the JSON message or JSON file. So to get started, uh, the basic requirements for issuing a badge are a stable URL, um, the correct uh, content type support in your web server, and a little bit of PHP or Python or some sort of programming language to build the hash the earner's email with a salt. Um, these two topics of supporting the JSON content type and uh, the idea of doing a little bit of programming to hash or encrypt uh, the earner's email with a salt will be the topic of a follow-up screencast. But for the time being, uh, one thing I'd like you to think about is, is there one of the three attributes of origin criteria and evidence that is optional? Uh, if you were to read through the documentation, we have said that one of those three attributes is optional within the JSON file or message, and I set as a reflective activity to go and find which of those three is uh, the optional attribute.